All right, so you're telling me that um, the technician, t tell me again why the technician who was supposed to be here today didn't show up. Can we do a recap of that? And how did he know that? Me what happened. How did he know that? Yeah. Well, based on the information communicated to him of the reason why you're not getting any service based on the account that I'm looking at the services or acting at the account. So what may have happened is that when the technician went ahead made the necessary checks, it would have shown that the services are active at the address that is there. When mm -hmm. he looked at the account itself, for me looking at it as well, it would show that it is active. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. So why did the technician not call me to ask what's going on? Or to, or to tell me, hey, something is, you know, something's wrong here. Normally a 30-minute recall is given to you. I'm not sure as to what happened in terms of you not receiving that 30 minutes recall, but it's normal for a, for a technician themselves to provide you with a 30 minutes recall to let you know that, yes, there was an issue with the address that is there. He should have I'm called not me. Sure as to why you did not receive it. So he failed I to call me. I, I, That's what we established. I get why you would be feeling frustrated about the situation as I've been waiting four hours for a technician to show up who never showed up and never bothered to call me and then went to the incorrect address on top of that. So I think I have a very good reason to be irate right now. Yeah, I do. I understand. What I can say to you is that the reason why you're currently not getting service is because when the payment was actually applied to this account rather than the other one, that would prevent you from getting the service. So somehow your automated system apl applied it to my wife's office rather than to our yeah. home, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. And I ha but I had to use the automated system because otherwise you would charge me $10, correct? The $10 for yes, that's correct. Okay. Um Okay. And that's not acceptable. That's not acceptable. Um, I want I want Suddenlink to make this right, and I want it to be made right now. What can Suddenlink do to make this right? To have a technician come out today or tomorrow and get my internet turned back on. Well, being as I did make a payment, but your system applied it to the wrong account, what do we do? The most I could advise you to do at this moment is to have the firm submitted for the misapplied payment. And that's going to take 10 or 12 days, which is absolutely unacceptable. Um, what I want you to do... What I want you to do is to uh, is to turn on <laughs> turn on the internet at my house at sixteen fifteen and um, to do it remotely or whatever you have to do um, and then I want to figure out uh, how to get a hold of the supervisor of this technician who failed to call me uh, so we can get that resolved. Transfer, I wouldn't be able to facilitate 
you with that. So okay. What I could do at this moment, I can submit a form for misapplied payment, but I would not be authorized to turn on the services unless the past due balance is paid on the account. Okay, and um, I paid the past due balance, but for whatever reason, your automated system decided to apply it to the wrong account. So, we need to, um, because uh, the misapplied payment is going to take 12 days to, to do, um, that's not going to work. So, what's a solution that you can come up with? payment form, I wouldn't be able to turn on the services. I could try requesting an extension to last for five days, which that could assist you in terms of getting the services turned back on if it is approved. But if the payment for the passive balance is not made within that five days, then that would result in the services being well, the payment for the past due balance will be resolved within five days. Um, it's simply on principle at this point, um, because I paid what was past due, but for whatever reason, your automated system applied it to a different account than the one which it was intended to go towards. And so now, at, at our house, we are without internet. <laughs> so, what we need from you is that uh, that payment extension to be made because clearly this is sudden what we've already established here what you and i've already established is that the problem lies with sudden link so i need for that to be done because i'm fuming here I've spent an enti I've spent an enti I have spent an entire day waiting on your technician to show up and he never did. So he never did. He went to the wrong address. I don't know. Um you tell me what sudden link can do to make this right. Well, do what you need to do, but I want this resolved today. Otherwise, I'm going to be calling the FCC and filing some serious complaints. Just put me on hold, please. On hold? Yep. Sorry.
I did pay the past due balance, but because of a mistake that Suddenlink made, that was applied to the wrong account. And I, to I totally understand what you're saying. No, I must ask, when you were about to make the payment on the automated system, it didn't indicate which account the payment is being made on? No, it only allows me to pull up... Um, <clears throat> To, just to, put, to pull up my account with my phone number. Now, under my account, with, your phone number. with under my phone number, there are two different accounts, but it doesn't allow me to differentiate. It simply said that there was a past due amount, and I assumed it was for the 1615 address. It, it the the automated system doesn't specify either way. Having fun over there? I'm, I'm still making some additional checks, okay? Hold okay.
Yep. And I told you that's not acceptable. Then, as a courtesy, I want a uh, sudden link to turn on the internet at sixteen fifteen. I want that. I want them to turn on the internet here because, in good faith, I p made a payment, thinking that it was bringing it current. But your automated system misapplied the payment. And I really do apologize, but we work with the system, and I wouldn't be able to go ahead and actually turn on the services without the, the past due balance being made. See, I paid the past due balance, or what I was thought was, or what I what I was told by your automated system was the past due balance. Um. Yep. And that's going to take 10 to 12 business days. Yeah, and that's not going to work. Um, Suddenlink made a mistake. And it's still costing me internet. So what can Suddenlink do to make this right that isn't going to take almost two weeks? No, I don't accept that. I don't accept that because that's going to take almost two weeks and I, I don't accept that as a solution. It's not a solution. So... It's not going to work. Can I do understand what you're saying, but that would be the only other method that would be suitable in terms of applying the, the money that is currency on this account to the max one. I don't accept it. I don't accept your solution. It's not a, it's not a viable solution for us. Suddenly made a mistake and it's going to take almost 2 weeks to correct it. So we need another well, we need a solution. The answer that you're providing is not an answer. It's not going to work. So therefore it's not a solution. <clears throat> Thank you for holding, Jared. So I went ahead and checked, and I once more, I really do apologize, but this would be the only method in terms of assisting you get in the payment to move from this account and apply to the other one. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and figure that one out, but in the meantime, I want internet restored at my home. I wouldn't be able to go ahead and restore the internet services because the past due balance on the next it was paid, but you guys applied it to the wrong account. And more, I really do apologize that an arrow came up when you went ahead and made the payments and it was applied to the max account, but I cannot do anything about it. Go ahead and actually submit a misapplied payment for it to have the money transferred from this account to the next one. Once the misapply payment has gone through and the past due balance is correct, and then the services can be turned on for you. 
So how about um, how about making an exception to the to the extension and acknowledging that Suddenlink made a mistake and allowing me an extension of some sort until the misapplied payment situation can be corrected. So, in essence, what you're telling me is that you have no solution to the, to the, um, to this problem. I'm telling you that the solution that I do have is to go ahead and submit the misapplied payment form and once you've been submitted and the payment went through to complete the past due balance, that's when the services can be turned on. So what am I going to do for the next 10 to 12 business days, since I have no internet? So you have no solution except for something that would take 10 to 12 business days. That's the best solution that I have right now. That's not even a solution. Um, well, you can make a payment for the past two balance. I did make a payment for the past two balance, but, because, but Sudden Link applied it to the wrong account. That's not my fault. It's your automated system that I have to use, otherwise I get charged an extra ten bucks. I totally get what you're saying, but I'm not able to remove the payment to put it through. It would take ten to twelve business days to go ahead and do so. And right now I'm currently working on that process for you. Okay. While you're doing that, you can tell me what the closest physical installation um, is for me to go to. Like an actual shop for me to go and talk to people. Alright, so you want to know the closest store that you can go in and speak to somebody? Yep. It's a Visa card. card. Nope. A Visa? Yep.
Yeah. Just a second. All right, can you date? 0725. No, I said 0925, I think. And your best contact number would be the 505 right? Yep. Well, that's not going to do anything for 10 to 12 days, so that's not going to do anything for 10 to 12 days, so what are we going to do? So, we, um, that's not going to do anything over here at the house until two weeks from now. So, what are we, what is suddenly going to do in the meantime to rectify this situation? We're not going to wait two weeks for our... I've been a faithful customer of Suddenlink for four years. I'm not going to wait two weeks for Suddenlink to take a misapplied payment, which is their mistake, and then and then uh, uh, turn the services back on at our house. We're not going to do that. So if Suddenlink wants to keep my business, which I've been faithful to give them for four years now, if suddenly wants to keep my business, they're going to find a way to restore services at 1615 as we uh, as 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 they as they get straightened out the whole misapplied payment thing which was suddenly's totally, fault. I, I totally get what you're saying. When the payment was made to the wrong account, I do understand that. But I'm looking at And like I said, I went to pay the past due. Stop talking. I paid the past due balance. You guys applied that to the wrong account. Then expedite that payment. I'm not able to expedite the process. Okay. So what can you do then that's actually going to give us a solution today? Given that I've been waiting literally all day for a technician to show up who never did. Um, <clears throat> he never, never even called to say that he was going to the uh, incorrect address. <laughs> um... Because for some reason everything got sent to our office um, instead of to our house. So, um, you know, this this whole thing has been a colossal uh, letdown for Suddenlink. So what, what can Suddenlink do at this point to keep my business?
and I, like I said, I paid the past due balance. You guys applied it to the wrong account. Yeah, it was paid on the wrong account by Suddenlink. So Suddenlink made a mistake, they can't fix it for two weeks, and in the meantime, our house is just supposed to sit without internet? That would be fine. <clears throat> in the state of Missouri, we have three Southern Lake locations. There is one in Aurora, one in Branson, and one in St. Joseph. Okay, what I requested earlier was for you to find the closest one to me. I know that. I don't know which of those is closer. St. Joseph, no, because that's like three and a half hours away. But Aurora and Branson, I don't know which is which. So you tell me which one's closer. <clears throat> Yeah, that's that's too far. That's too far. Um, <clears throat> how about Aurora? Well, that's pretty far. Sorry? That's pretty far. So, um... Well, I'd like to know what kind of statement credits um, Suddenlink is going to offer me to make up for this. I would not be able to turn on the service and that the balance is actually moved from this. That isn't what I said. That's, that's not what I said. I said statement credits. I'm not able to provide any statement credits based on the situation that occurred. So the situation that occurred, which has entirely been because of mistakes on that part of Suddenlink, you can't you, you can't offer any type of uh, any type of uh, amenities to try to rectify the situation. The soonest that you can correct the mistake is two weeks from now, and um, and you're not even going to provide me with statement credits because I'm. Be I'm not Suddenlink sucks. <laughs> Suddenlink sucks. You guys make a mistake. Uh, you take two weeks to correct it. Um, your technicians don't even call when they realize they're being sent to the wrong address because of an ad because of an issue with uh, the the on Suddenlink giving them directives. Um, 
Wow. Wow. So suddenly really is of of, of no use when in correcting their own mistakes. Brilliant. Nope, I don't think there's anything else you can tell me that's going to improve the situation any. There will not be positive feedback on this for sure.